Northeast Creek Park, the city is in the process of filling in the two old wastewater lagoons. They have been inactive for over 30 years, and the city sees that as an investment for a future project. So we have decided to cut down the debris and start bringing in dirt to fill them in. The biggest need in the city is for some additional ball fields. So what we are doing is we are gradually using clean field dirt to fill in the lagoons and raise it up the level so that we can build some ball fields here and get some more, uh, more kids and adults playing out here. Not only do we have to fill in the dirt, we have to give it time to settle. Then we have to get into the whole process of building ball fields, which is uh, actually more complicated than it, than it might seem between irrigation and sod and measuring and fences and lights and, and numerous factors like that, building a ball field is actually rather complicated. Um, so three to five years, we hope to start seeing some progress. Well, the lagoons are, to give you some perspective, they are about the size of nine football fields. So we have to bring in about 57,000 cubic yards of dirt. And of that dirt, we have brought in approximately 34,000 cubic yards, or the equivalent of, at the end of the project, would be about 4,400 truckloads of dirt that will be going down and filling in the lagoons. One of the things that we're trying to do within the city of Jacksonville is bring all of our existing facilities, parks and buildings, up to a, a, a higher standard of, of maintenance and performance. At Northeast Creek Park, we have a conceptual uh, park redesign in place that involves adding youth ball fields as well as adult ball fields, maintaining the disc golf course, uh, improving the boat ramp, which has already been done, adding a canoe and kayak launch, new playground, basically a whole new park, but we're having to do it component by component, phase by phase. This space here, which was lagoons for years and years, is going to become adult ball fields. Uh, we hope to get three to four of them in here. Depending on how the, the final work looks, we are, we're very optimistic they will fit and do very well. Then up front of the park, where there are currently two adult ball fields, we can actually squeeze in three youth fields. So it'll be a net gain for all, all ages. With any luck, we will continue to see dump trucks coming in on a regular basis for probably another year or so. Um, we're, the city is very fortunate. We've been able to work some partnerships with local developers so that it became a win-win. The city's partnered with local contractors who are looking for a place to dispose of what might be an unsuitable soil for their site but is suitable for our purposes at Northeast Creek Park. To date, we have um, had a very good working relationship with several contractors, and um, the city has been able to receive the dirt for free and share in some of the hauling costs, which has resulted in a substantial cost savings for the city. The, the other part of this that this is impacting is the nature trail, which is a very popular component of Northeast Creek Park. It begins down by the boat ramp and goes up through the wetlands and through the trees and went around the lagoons. Uh, parts of that trail are going to be closed for the, at least as long as the construction is still going on. So please just uh, don't stop using the nature trail, but just pay attention to the markings if you will, please.